Well, hello everyone. This is Hunter Tube back again, and today we are here with another review. And I know you're expecting Thomas the Trimaster Adventures, but that probably won't come out till like September third or fourth. Okay, okay, it won't come back to like September fourth or fifth. So yeah. Anyway, um, we are back with another review, and it is on the final engine from the Digs and Discoveries Greatest Moments assortment, and it is. Gina! But wait a minute, that's not the right Gina! This is the right Gina! So yeah, here is the Trackmaster Gina from Digs and Discoveries. So yeah, I finally got her and uh, she came in the mail on the day I uploaded the Lorenzo and Beppe review. So yeah. And like up here it says include spinning drill and that is like the only time they should put that thing there if it includes an action car that's like the only time you should put that thing up there Mattel the only time you should do it is if it includes an action car and Gina includes an action car comes with an action car so yes it is a proper thing to put it on there this time Here right in the corner we have Thomas, Percy, and Gina, anyway, called Nia Gina, Nia, <laughs> and then there's the rock detailing, again, it goes up, but I forgot to tell you, it, it goes off to the side as well, then on this side, it shows promo picture, and there's the promo picture, and there are little white pupils in her black eyes, remember that, and then on this side, it shows like this picture of Thomas and Gina jumping over Gordon's Hill. Now on the back of the box it shows Armor Thomas which we looked at first, Gina which is who we're looking at right now, and of course Lorenzo and Beppe. So yeah, here it says, Gina. Gina is very proud of her Italian heritage. She loves to go on archaeological digs to uncover the history of her cherished homeland. Inspired by moments from the show, this unique Gina features a spinning drill and removable digging tool. So yeah, then up here it says the thing about Trimaster Push Along, which we've seen like hundreds of times. Either way, let's get Gina out of her box. Oh, and one more thing before we get her out of the box. When I got this on Amazon, yes I got this on Amazon, for normal price, $15, um, I also got Lorenzo and Beppe for $15 normal price with free shipping, as well as Gina. Lorenzo's box wasn't dented or damaged, but Gina's box literally had a few dents in it. And you can see here, there's another one. There's a few dents on the bottom here. And yeah, the, this was like Amazon's fault. No, it wasn't Amazon's fault. It was the stupid people's fault who just want to rush and get their jobs done and who don't care about the customers and only care about getting their payload at the end of the day or the end of the week. Either way, let's get to unboxing Gina. All right, Gina, time to come out of your lovely box. So yeah, this thing came in the mail. All right, I already told you that. So either way, oh gosh. Oh gosh, even the plastic is dented. There's even a crack in it. This just goes to show how 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 stupid and idiotic these these people are, just only caring about the money and not the customers. Even this this side piece is dented. Jeez, people, wake up and start learning about the people and not the money. It's even dented here. Jeez! Anyway, out comes Dina, and the instructions are back here. Anyway, let me clear the clutter. Bye bye, main box. Bye bye, plastic. And Dina. I'm surprised the instructions didn't get dented like Armor Thomas's. Anyway, here's Dina, and yeah, she's now unboxed. So yeah, now that we got Gina out of the box, let's look at her. But before we do that, let's look at this! So here are the instructions, and they look absolutely normal, nothing special. So you know what we do? We just crumple them to bits, and we just throw them off in the distance. 
Either way, now let's get to looking at Gina and her freight cars, starting with Gina herself. So yeah, here is Gina. So let's get to looking at the face first. So if you look closely at the face, in the eyes here, there are actually little white pupil dots in them. Now that is actually really good detail by Mattel. I'm surprised they did that. I should have mentioned that they also did it with Lorenzo and Beppe, and I'll get them quickly to show you. Okay, so I grabbed Lorenzo quickly. If you look closely, you you really can't see it on Lorenzo because his are literally smaller than Gina's, but he does have little white pupils, little white dots in his eyes. Beppe has them too, and it just spit on the screen. Either way, goodbye Lorenzo and Beppe, and let's get back to looking at Gina. So now that we got the thing with the eyes out of the way, this face looks pretty accurate compared to the custom. And yes, we will compare this Gina to my custom Gina after we get a look at her in this review. So yeah, here are her lamps. Sadly, they're not painted, as well as her buffers. Also, this has to be like a little nitpick. I don't care if you guys are saying, oh, but it's just a coupling, but this is a nitpick. Look at the coupling. The thing around the coupling should be circle, not rectangular. Good going, Mattel. Yeah, it's just a little nitpick, but yeah. I know. They should have made that bit circleized and not rectangular. That's It's just a nitpick. I'm not going to mess with it. It's just a nitpick. Just a tiny little thing. That I don't think anyone else noticed except me. Either way, on the rest of it. Here's her top lamp that isn't painted either. Her funnel is absolutely gigantic, which is insane. I don't think that armored helmet can fit on her. So yeah. Also, they actually got the sloping side tanks correct. Whenever I see an engine with sloping side tanks, I always think that's their long hair. I don't know why. Anyway, here's the side. And here comes another problem. Look at the wheels. There is a middle wheel. There should not be a middle wheel. Gina should only have four wheels, not six. Good going. Either way, here's her nameplate. It says Gina, and it's printed on. And here's her rivets. They're, like, kind of big. Also, the rivets remind me of a few things. For one, the letter H, because it kind of looks like it. Two, a football field goal, because you kind of see it like that. And yeah. Anyway, sadly, this isn't detailed like it, is, like it got detailed in the uh, Season 23, Digs and Discoveries, because in the Great Race, that was just green. So this is kind of like the Great Race look, Gina. And here's her cab. And yeah, and here's her back. And what's even insane is that they actually put rivet details on the back of her. Now that is amazing. Then here's her back buffers. They're not painted. Here's the other side. It's basically the same as the other side. And here's the top. She has her gold boiler bands. Her gold dome. Kind of got an overspray a bit. Her Sadly, her cap isn't like tall. But yeah, they had to squash it down to make it Trap Master 2 look good. And yeah, now that we looked at Gina, let's compare her to my crappy custom from 2016. So yeah, if you can obviously tell, this custom was made out of a Thomas. And this is back in 2016. And when I heard the official Gina was coming out, I didn't bother on repainting the spotty spots that kind of got scratched. This whole area would have been black to accommodate the window, the cab window there. That's just to let you know. Either way, on with comparing these things. So first, the front. The running board kind of stopes down on my custom because it's Thomas. Then the faces. This is the real. This is the custom. 
Yeah, uh, the official face is much better than my custom, and unlike this thing, I gave the custom like buffer detailing, the lamp detailing, and everything. And since it was Thomas, I kind of covered up the the arches just to make it look like the black smoke box was there. Should have maybe did it red from the front. Yeah, I should have maybe did it red from the front. From like the front view. But yeah. And then here's the sides. Unlike the official Gina, I actually gave it four wheels. Well, technically it still has six, but but one wheel is just black to make it look like it has four. But either way, um, this thing was made out of the seaweed Thomas. So yeah, I just kept the parts of seaweed normal. Gave it the nameplate that says Gina. It's not as good as the official one though. This is the comparison. And I kind of did something better than the official one. I actually gave it like white rims around the red wheels. And yeah, sadly no rivets. Then here's the backs. And I did something better than the official. I gave it buffer detailing, lamp details. I gave it like it's her three lamps. Cause whenever I made these customs, I always looked at the uh, meet the contenders shorts. Yeah. And I tried painting all of that coal green just to make it seem like it wasn't there. I even put like a little window, which would normally be right here on, on Gina. Yeah. And here's the other side. This one doesn't have a side rod because like during filming of Lexi in the snow, her side rod broke. So I had to give her Gina's other side rod so that's why custom Dina doesn't have a side rod if you're wondering and yeah and yeah so yeah and then the tops so literally what I did for the top on the custom one I would have just scratched all the black away with like a a screwdriver all the original black paint away with a screwdriver and then put green over the top and yeah I didn't paint the boiler bands green, sadly. Also, the dome is kind of scratching off on the custom. But yeah, that was the that was the comparison. And I say the official Gina is way better than my custom. Either way, this Gina will never be seen again on my channel, and this Gina will be replacing it. Goodbye, Gina Custom. We will remember you. Rest in peace. You'll never be seen again. So either way, with that out of the way, now let's give Gina a fresh set of batteries. So, coming in with the shot that almost everyone likes to see, the screw shot. And there we go, her shell is off. Alright, let's pop in some fresh batteries. Whoopsies, I showed the brand. Everyone's gonna complain now, saying you're doing ads, but I'm not the cover back on, get the um, famous screw shot, see if she runs, oh dear, I think she jitters, okay, so I just like tested her on the tracks and she doesn't jitter, so yeah, we're, we're good, so, either way, she runs like that, so either way, now that we looked at Gina, let's look at the next part of this set, which is... The action car! So yeah, this is the action car. It's just pretty plain. Doesn't have any details on it. Has that coupling. At least it's it's not part of the main chassis or anything. But what it does as you roll it along, that little bit spins as you roll it along. So yeah, that's the action car. There's one thing I wish it had was more details. And another thing, it's powered by the back wheel. There hasn't been an action car that was powered by the back wheel since 2016. 
So yeah. And that's the problem I have with the geared wheels. I feel like the only time the geared wheels should exist on freight cars is if it's an action car. So please, Mattel, can you bring back the old style freight car wheels and only use geared wheels on action cars? Take the hint, Mattel, please. Anyway, now let's move on to the next car. Which is the car that holds the drill bit. So yeah, it's just a plain yellow car, literally the same car that comes with Rebecca. And yeah, there's like nothing special about it. So yeah, let's just move that car out of the way and look at the drill bit. So yeah, here's the drill bit. It may look like there's nothing special with it, but until you bring the action car in, you can actually attach the drill bit onto it. And then you can drill your way through things, like Darcy. But sadly, Darcy doesn't appear in Digs and Discoveries, but she only appears in other episodes, so that's Mattel's fault for making her part of the marketing for Digs and Discoveries, which is stupid. But either way, let's take the drill off, put it over there, and that as well. So, here is Gina as a whole. So, yeah, what are my thoughts on this pack? I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Just because of, like, three little nitpicks. That thing, the fact that Gina has six wheels, and the fact that this isn't detailed. And, yeah, those are, like, my only three little nitpicks with this. Other, that, other than that, it's a really good pack. And I suggest you get it. So yeah, now let's move on to the run. And boy, oh boy, the run is going to have a whole bunch of characters. Because this character is from the Great Race. So we are going to run Gina along with all of the Great Race characters that were released throughout the years. Lorenzo and Beppe, Armor Thomas, and the Hard at Work 4 pack. So yeah. Get ready, because this is going to be an ultimate run session. Okay, so the ultimate run session will begin in three, two, one, go! Things are still happening. Rip Gina. Ashima wins.
And there was the run of Trackmaster Gina from both Dixon and Discoveries and The Great Race. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. Speaking of the review, there was like one thing I forgot to mention in the review part. Is that the drill bit can actually go on Gina's funnel. Like that. And now she has a hat. A spinning hat. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And tell me what you think of Gina in the comments. Anyway, this is HunterTube saying thanks for watching. Bye for now. And the next video will definitely be the comeback trailer for Season 3 of Thomas' Drum Master Adventures. Because it's been four months since I made an episode. Bye.